How's it going tonight, everyone? Welcome to Cobra Kai Studios for another fan questions debate video. A video where we just go over your questions, my questions, theories, responses, whatever be the case, and just have a blast doing it. And we're going to start right off with Aaron. Who is a better fighter? Johnny or Daniel? Hawk or Miyagi? Or Sam or Tori? So we'll start with the first one. In my opinion, I would assume and say now, Johnny's a better fighter than Daniel at this point in time. That's just kind of how I feel. Now... Moving forward into season three, with Daniel obviously training again, going to Okinawa, possibly training with Chosen, that might change. Daniel could end up being the better fighter, but for the that one, I would say Johnny. For the Hawker Miyagi, that's kind of a tough one. Honestly, I'd have to probably go with Miyagi still. You know, he was such a great fighter as it is, and has so much you know experience. I'd have to go with Mr. Miyagi for sure, hands down. Sam and Tori, I'd have to go with Tori. I, I but. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know enough backstory about Tori, just like none of us do. Obviously, we know Sam has training in martial arts with her dad and possibly Mr. Miyagi. Tori, we don't know where she learned her skills from to begin with. She just came in already knowing. It's speculated she had kickboxing boxing experience, boxing experience, whatever be the case. But the move she uses in the fight against uh, Miguel when she first gets introduced is not boxing. It's not really kickboxing either. So I, I kind of don't believe that whole theory there. You know, I feel like there's something else behind that. On to the next one from Lisa. Who do you think is the best at martial arts in the show? I think Miguel and Johnny and, of course, Daniel's pretty good. Stay awesome, everybody. I would have to agree that I don't The best in martial arts, honestly, in my opinion, would probably be Johnny, then Daniel because of their experience, and then Miguel. So I would agree that all three of them are probably the top, you know, martial artists in the show. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to pinpoint, you know. If you want to go about the senseis, I'd say Johnny. If you want to go about the students, then I'd say Miguel. And then, of course, Robbie. On to the next one from Christopher. Robbie, at this point, is scared. I angry is like, what the hell just happened? This sucks that I'm in jail. If Johnny focuses again on too much on Miguel, Robbie will then start to feel abandoned again by his dad. Him and his dad, in the end, were sort of on good terms. Sam got drunk. Robbie brought Sam to Johnny to keep her safe and hide her, knowing that Daniel might get upset with him. Johnny came through being there for his son and Sam. Yeah, he really did, you know. And, yeah, it's going to cause a lot of controversy and, and a lot of, like, possible hatred for his dad if Johnny focuses more on Miguel than his son. You know, especially with the son being in jail. And his dad, like, has nothing to do with him, don't want to go see him, nothing along those lines. It, it just makes you wonder what, what what could be the outcome of that as far as how Robbie's going to take things. I can't say for sure how he's going to take it, but I imagine you know, if it was in, if I was in those shoes, I would take it pretty pretty bad, you know. On to the next one from Quiet Lightning. I know we discussed this the last time, but it is a thought-provoking. I think Tori may be pregnant. That might explain her emotional emotionality, her extreme emotionality during the school fight. Her kicking Miguel and her reaction to her immediate remorseful look in, is interesting. Her obvious horror when Miguel fell, just thinking again. It's nothing to do with the school fight and the planning that went behind it. What do you think? Thanks for your consideration. Quiet lightning. You know, I I don't know. If, if, if for any reason she is pregnant, do you all think Miguel would be the father possibly? You know, I don't honestly think she is. Especially because how the school fight went down and, you know, she got kicked over the rail and everything. And if she is, then is the baby okay? You know, I wouldn't rule it out 100%, but I'd say it's highly unlikely that she's pregnant. Just my opinion. Now, I wouldn't say that it's 100% sure, but, you know, I don't know. What do you all think? Do you think it's possible that uh, Tori might be pregnant? I don't know. On to the next one from Christopher. I don't think Sam was really laughing at Eli. She was really only trying to pretend out of pure pressure to stay in that little clique she was in yeah i kind of get what you mean you know at the same time she still was technically bullying but i do understand what you mean it's like she was doing it more just to kind of stay friends with her friends and not seem like the outcast and then be like okay why didn't you say anything or do anything you know what i mean it, it kind of makes you wonder honestly why she would even do that though i understand that I've been in situations like that as a kid, too, where you're kind of peer pressured with what your friends are doing to kind of stay in the cool clip kind of situation. So I, I do get under, I understand what you mean for sure. So it is possible that it was more of not ill attentions of why she was doing it and why she was laughing. It was just more of she kind of felt obligated to and kind of trapped in the situation. 
But yeah, I, I definitely understand that, Christopher. On to the next one. I was, I was thinking, I am thinking that the cliffhanger in season three will either be Silver, come, Silver coming back to investigate who killed Kreese or Robbie joining Cobra Kai. I love the Who Shot JR reference because that was some cliffhanger from one of my favorite old timer shows, Dallas. Not to get off topic, I just wanted to mention that show, Dallas, had some crazy, genuine cliffhangers, some really smart ideas. The show lasted 12 seasons, three TV movies, and then a continuation over 10 years later. Sadly, that didn't last too long and got canceled. Yeah, for sure, you know. It's, yeah. <laughs> Me personally, I, I think that the cliffhanger, the last little, you know, 90 seconds is going to be something so epic that none of us are really going to comprehend exactly what we've just seen. At least not the first time watching it. So it has me really excited to see what, what we're going to get when we get there, you know. Time's getting closer. We're getting closer to January 8th and... We're going to get a trailer soon in December. I've heard December 8th and December 10th is the possible, for sure, release dates on that. So don't quote me on that, but I know it's coming. You know, we're going to get a full trailer and get a little bit more information before we actually get to the, the big release. <laughs> on to the next one from Aaron. Why did Sam not tell Eli she was sorry that she made fun of him? You know, maybe she, I don't know. You know, that, that's Sam. <laughs> in my opinion, that's just Sam, Aaron. I, I can't really explain that one too much i i would imagine she just either felt that she didn't need to or just felt that it wasn't going to make no difference if she did or didn't i don't know what do you all think on to the next one from christopher yes miguel will go wherever johnny will go if johnny joins forces with daniel he will go there miguel will leave cobra kai seeing johnny is not there anymore it won't be the same for him robbie has the potential to turn to the dark side for a short amount of time and kyler will be the ultimate badass like mike barnes there is no show showing for redemption for him. Hawk will be back to himself in later season once he has hit rock bottom. You know, I really agree with that. I'm pretty positive Miguel's going to go wherever Johnny goes, no matter the situation. Now, he might go to Cobra Kai not knowing Johnny's gone and might kind of be in Cobra Kai for a minute and then leave with, you know, because I don't think he's going to stay with Kreese being the, the sensei. Now, Hawk could try to talk him into staying. I could, I could see that happening for sure. And as far as Robbie turning to the dark side for a little bit, I, I for sure see that happening. With what happened to him and where he's at in his headspace, I, I just for sure see that being a possibility, you know. And I'm sure it's going to make for some very interesting content moving forward into Season 3, maybe even Season 4. And Kyler, yeah, I could see Kyler actually being a badass if he comes in and gets trained by, like, Kreese or something. I could see him being, like, a, a Mike Barnes Jr. kind of situation for sure. And Hawk... Yeah, I could see Hawk eventually being back to himself after after this badass streak goes away and maybe he hurts someone or whatever be the case and has a change of heart maybe, you know. Of course, there's still people that speculate that Hawk's going to be one of the people that die in this show. So it's kind of like, eh, I don't know, you know, and if he is, then I guess hopefully he'll go out in a blaze of glory because he was, you know, pretty badass. On to the next one from Roy. In these shows, the main couple never divorce, but they couldn't have created a, a worse compatibility wife for Daniel if they tried. Daniel's passion in karate and Okinawa culture, he sells cars so he can afford his passions like going to Okinawa and intermissions in its culture, including karate. Amanda is materialistic only, seems to care about money because of her indulgence, Daniel, indulgence Daniel's son. Anthony is a spoiled little fat prick. <laughs> he really is, isn't he, Roy? She doesn't care about karate or anything that Daniel cares about. All she cares about is the money. Daniel could sell out to Tom Cole and never work a day in his life again. Amanda should just run off with Tom like Anoush did. You know, I, I agree, Roy. They really did kind of pick a, a horrible character to be Daniel's wife. But I honestly feel like it was picked on purpose. And maybe you're right. Maybe there is going to be something further into the show that will get a little bit more detailed of why them two are married for the show, you know. And why, obviously, maybe why Johnny and his wife maybe we'll get a little more backstory to why they never be you know are not together in, in the show you know why robbie's mom and johnny split up whatever be the case you know it makes me wonder for sure why they broke up or whatever happened there you know obviously the kind it's kind of touched based on with you know johnny not ever being there and i can see that causing a, a split up but as far as amanda yeah i don't i don't know i mean i'm not gonna say that i'm sure they're gonna divorce or anything like that, but I wouldn't rule it out that it's not ever going to happen, you know. I, I, it could possibly happen in some way, maybe, you know. I don't know. On to the next one from Christopher. Miguel will go wherever Johnny goes. He's very loyal, and John, Johnny is the only person that has come close to being a father figure. Miguel never knew his real father. After Miguel in season one got beat up, 
At the Halloween party at the school, Miguel's mom was mad at Johnny, but Miguel stepped in to defend him. What happened here between Johnny and Miguel is only a setback that will strengthen their relationship. No, Miguel will never go dark. He won't turn on Johnny, and even in real life, these guys are close friends, and what you see on screen is close to how they really are off screen. Once Miguel finds out Johnny is not running the show for the time being at Cobra Kai, he's out real quick. Don't expect to see much of Miguel in the dojo alongside Hawk and the others. He will be too busy healing and finding himself along with fixing things between Johnny and his mom. You know, that's, that's absolutely right. You know, they really there was already kind of this conflict between Carmen, Johnny, and all that with teaching Miguel to begin with. So I have a feeling as time goes, as Miguel heals, that rivalry between Carmen and Miguel and Carmen and Johnny and all this anger that's, you know, been brought up because of this will eventually fade. And, you know, of course, Carmen being Miguel's mom, she's going to take his side no matter what. So if Miguel wants to be with Johnny and train with Johnny still, I imagine she's going to eventually get over what happened and let what be, let it be, you know. That's just my kind of a overtake on what I assume to see happen in the show. But I don't know, maybe you have a, a different opinion or different idea. You can explain on why y'all feel that, how Johnny and Miguel's... How would you say Johnny being able to continue training Miguel's situation with Carmen and all that might play out? On to the next one from Lisa. Kyler will fight Robbie. Robbie will join his friend of friends of group of old friends, and then Kyler joins their group. Uh, maybe you know, I could see Kyler and Robbie fighting for sure at some point in time. I don't know how they would actually become to fight, but I just I could see it happening. I could see them fighting. You know, it would it would it would be an interesting fight too. Not, nonetheless, you know, it, it really would. So. If that happens, I, I would be excited to see how it plays out. I think Robbie would beat Kyler at first. Now, Kyler might get really big into training and might eventually beat him. Who knows, though? <laughs> On to the next one from Christopher. What I believe is, in the beginning of Season 2, Kreese came back after he heard Cobra Kai won the All-Valley. Came back to be head sensei of Cobra Kai with Johnny at his side like old times. But he saw the give mercy message johnny was teaching his students throughout season two instead of the no mercy message he saw that johnny lost his killer instinct again first time was when he lost to daniel at the all valley that's why in the end he cut out johnny took the dojo over and turned his students against him you know that's a really good way of explaining it christopher and it's very possible you know maybe maybe crease didn't have ill intentions at first but when he came back he seen that he ain't going to be able to run the show like he used to with Johnny because Johnny's not the same person. He's trained differently, kind of. He's got that almost no mercy instinct starting to come out, and that's not what Kreese is about, you know? So maybe that is a good reason to why Kreese decided to change and take over the dojo and cut Johnny from it entirely and turn his students against, against him. That's, that's a hell of a way of explaining it. I love that, Christopher. On to the next one from Christopher. Kreese has been telling Johnny if you... It should be him to train his son. Since Kreese has lost all faith in Johnny at this point, he would do what he thinks is right and try to get Robbie into Cobra Kai. I I agree. He really has been say, saying it saying it this whole time that, you know, Johnny needs to be the one to train his son, not Daniel. And the fact that now Johnny's out of the picture, I could see Kreese not only just out of spitefulness, but maybe just out of his own way thinking he needs to, you know, step in and train, train Robbie, which is very possible. We might see Robbie join Cobra Kai. It's very possible, you know. On to the next one from Jeff. Miguel will go where Johnny goes, as most of us would follow our sensei wherever he goes. Same. You know exactly. Like, obviously, my sensei, aka okay, Mark Baca, he doesn't train students anymore. He does stunt training and stuff like that. But even to this day, I still would rather be trained by him than someone else, you know. If he was to open a dojo again, I'd be there in a heartbeat, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm obviously taking his classes with him and working with him now. So it just kind of shows, you know, you stick with who, who, you, who, who you trust and who you were originally trained by because i myself am doing that on to the next one from christopher next big character i see is kyler he's coming back for some reason and we have seen how much of a bully and jerk he can be he got his butt kicked by miguel in season one and he's coming back to join cobra kai with crease training we may see a potential badass student who has some payback to give you know that's absolutely right you know we know he's coming back for some reason so what better reason to come back than to be trained to be a badass and maybe take on miguel in the future and maybe robbie too you know it, it really does make a lot of sense and makes you wonder what the intentions of kyler coming back really are and i could see that being a really big possibility you know i wouldn't rule that one out 100 percent at all on to the next one from christopher i'm not sure which video i saw on youtube that talked about miyagi's big secret theory 
is that Miyagi-Do Karate originally came from Cobra Kai Karate because Miyagi's father saw how corrupted that style of teaching is. Chosen knows about it because Sato taught him. Sato, of course, learned it from Miyagi's dad before Miyagi's dad decided to change the teaching. This may not be exact, but will be better explained in Season 3. I really hope it is. That's interesting. I really like that uh, theory idea, Christopher. I, I don't think I've seen the video on who might have talked about that, but, you know, thanks for enlightening me on it. That's a really interesting idea, you know, and it makes me wonder if that's a possibility we might see play out. On to the next one from Christopher. Tori is a very angry, hurt person who I can see having a connection to Silver. Silver being an uncle who trained her in karate, she has a similar attitude to Silver. Tori's backstory will be explained, followed by character development. Yeah, really, I, I agree, you know, and I feel like she was personally trained by somebody that knew a lot about martial arts. It can't just be no kickboxing, boxing classes, because... When she came in and fought M Miguel, she knew too much already, in my opinion. She really did. She knew blocks and sweeps and kicks and, you know, other, like, just certain subtle things she did in that fight that you don't learn in kickboxing and boxing. My wife took boxing for a few years. I know what boxing was like. I took kickboxing personally, and it's not like what she was doing, you know. That's just my opinion, but I'm hoping when we see her backstory and her character develop, we get to learn a lot more, you know, and I'm sure we will. On to the next one from Aaron. Why do you think that call the police about... Why don't you think that they called the police about the school fight? Or why do you think they called the police about the school fight? You know, honestly, I think because the way things were getting so out of the hand, I think the principal or teacher or something like that just decided that it was best that they need to step in and, uh, you know, kind of intervene, I guess, to keep it from getting even bigger than it got you know but it was just kind of too late by the time the cops got there miguel was already injured and there was really not much that they could do about it on to the next one from christopher it sounded like people from the housing unit that crease was talking to on the phone yeah it is possible that it was just you know the housing unit people there's just so much like speculation because we don't really hear the other person on the phone we only hear crease's side so that's where people are like well maybe he was talking to silver maybe he was talking to mike barnes maybe he was talking to some mystery person we don't know so I, I get the speculation, you know, and maybe it is just the housing unit. Maybe, maybe it was just something in there just to kind of throw us off and make us, you know, think about what could be versus what actually happened, you know. On to the next one from Aaron. Do you think that Amanda is a gold digger? Kind of. Kind of. I wouldn't say exactly a gold digger, but I do believe she's kind of about the money in a lot of ways. Now, and she's also a mom, so that's why she reacted in certain, you know, ways that she did. But... In, in a sense, I kind of do see her in that kind of a vibe, you know? But I don't know. On to the next one from Miguel Never Dies. This is a question I don't know yet. Well, let us know, Miguel. We want to know. Are you going to stay in Cobra Kai? Are you going to join Miyagi-Do? <laughs> Thanks for comedy, man. On to the next one from Aaron. Will Amanda get mad at Daniel for going to Okinawa? I bet you she does. I bet you she does. Now, maybe, maybe. She might be the one that actually insinuates him going, though. She might be the one that likes, like, hey, you need to go and clear your head, get back and... The right mindset but at the same time i kind of feel like she might just be completely against it all all and all in all you know and if that's the case then you know he's gonna go anyways and it's gonna lead to something <laughs> on to the next one from bonsai kai dojo i think miguel will stay with cobra kai at least at first but then follow johnny whenever he ends wherever he ends up great video man sorry i missed the premiere i was asleep no worries bonsai aka sensei I appreciate you for commenting. Yeah, I agree. You know, I, I kind of have that same feeling is that he's going he's gonna to like go to Cobra, go back to Cobra Kai. But when he realizes Johnny's not there, I, I feel like he's going to leave. And I also feel like Hawk's going to try to talk him into staying, which might lead to a Hawk and McGill bickerment. Maybe fight. I don't know. On to the next one from Aaron. What happened to Yasmin after the beach party? You know, I don't know. It's almost like her character was just kind of put on the side burner for now. Like maybe she'll come back. Maybe she won't. There's really no information on what exactly is planned for her in the future. Will she return in Season 3? I assume we might see bits and pieces of her, but I don't know. You know, it's Aisha's not going to be there, so it makes you wonder if she's going to maybe make a return for some reason. I don't know. Kind of makes you wonder, though. On to the next one from Christopher. I hope that they release all 10 episodes like YouTube did, not one at a time. Well, with my experience with Netflix, Christopher, they almost never do that. The one at a time, they almost never do that. It's always all 10 episodes right then and there. So I'd say with like 95% surety that we're going to get all 10 episodes January 8th. I don't see no reason for them to like do one episode at a time. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense to me for them to do that considering they don't really do that for any other show. So I would say that we're going to get all 10 at, at once. On to the next one from Aaron. What if Terry Silver and Carmen dated? 
I mean, we don't know enough about Carmen's backstory to be like, that's for sure not something that happened. So I would say without a doubt that it's you got to leave it as a possibility. Now, I wouldn't say for sure it happens, but I'd say you got to leave it as a possibility for sure. On to the next one from Aaron. What if Terry Silver asked Amanda to dinner to talk about business? That would be interesting, especially because if she does it behind like Daniel's back, so he has no idea. Because if Daniel knows, you know, he's going to be like, you know, that's a that's a bad person. You don't need to be working with him. We don't need to do business with him. So that kind of that's an interesting question, Aaron. I actually like that question because it makes you wonder, is it possible? And if so, how's that going to play out? On to the next one from Lisa. I think Miguel will get back with Samantha. I want to hear your opinions. I, you know, I'm Team Tory, Team Miguel, but I, without a doubt, do believe at some point in time, Miguel and Samantha will be a couple again. They, they just had such a great connection, honestly, that you can't, you, even if you don't like her, you still can't deny it. They had a good connection, and it's most likely what's going to happen. They're going to get back together. You know, that's just what I think. On to the next comment from Azair. If he does go to Cobra Kai, he will be learning from Kreese instead of Johnny after what happened at the school. Exactly. And it's like, I don't see him wanting to learn from Kreese, you know? He did, already didn't seem like he really cared for Kreese, so I don't think he'll want to learn from Kreese, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. Another comment from Lisa. Cobra Kai never dies. No mercy. Damn straight. And another comment from Lisa. <laughs> I've did some Cobra Kai videos about Cobra Kai on my channel, mostly telling different stories about theories. Awesome. Everybody go go check out Lisa Gross's uh, YouTube channel and check out her Cobra Kai video. As well as Alan Smith. He just started a new channel, which I will link it in this in my description so y'all can check it out it's gonna be badass i'm telling you like i've already am excited to see alan's first like video he made like a little introduction video basically to say so i hope y'all go ch check him out and subscribe to him show him some love we are a great community so i'm sure most of y'all will do that on to the next one from alan hey daniel carmen may not have martial arts skills but she threw johnny around in his dreams <laughs> right that's for sure <laughs> that is for damn sure Another comment from Roy. Practice your kata while you're waiting for customers. Let me tell you, Roy. There are no customers. <laughs> this last three days, we've had zero customers, man. Like, it's literally the store's closed. We're supposed to be doing curbside pickup or online orders. We've had zero of either. So I'm just taking the time to practice, study, do my videos, try to make time pass, you know. On to the next one from Lisa. Stay awesome, Daniel Salon. Hey, I do my best, you know. <laughs> and from... Uh, a comment from Aaron. BizHacks made a video about Sam and Dimitri are going to date in Cobra Kai Season 3. Hey, you know what? It really could be a possibility. I wouldn't rule out for sure. Now, me personally, I I don't think that'll happen. I'm, You know, I don't think that Sam will get with Dimitri. But, hey, I guess you can't fully rule it out. But I would say I, that's super slim chances of that happening. But there's a lot of things that in that video that BizHack, you know, made that do kind of point to that it being a possibility and he made a really good theory about it so shout out to biz hacks for that video that was a pretty good video and to the last comment of the video from christopher a lot or maybe some might disagree with me on this but sam did not start the fight she may have did things to piss off a certain someone tori to start the fight when really tori should have just cursed out both miguel and sam and walked away but she didn't do that sam was completely wrong for what she did in kissing miguel as well as Miguel kissing her. Don't forget that. Because, you know, they both technically kiss each other. So, they're both that wrong there. And continue your comment. Tori then became wrong for starting the fight. By the way, the actress who plays Tori when she got on the school radio to call out Sam. Wow, she can act. I felt that anger in her voice. In the teaser, Sam is shown crying in her mom's arms. Could be for Miguel or Daniel's mom. I'm thinking Daniel's mom dying because Daniel is shown in another scene looking similarly distraught like his daughter i agree i do think that daniel's mom sadly is going to be one to pass away and i think that's why daniel was distraught and like crying you know and i also gotta agree sam didn't really start the fight she and her and miguel initiated well i don't know it kind of breaks down to like who can you really blame because when miguel and sam broke up tori was already against sam to begin with you know she in the in the scene where uh robbie and sam are like basically out on a date and miguel and uh tori are she you know her and sam already got into it there which just kind of led to more problems than yes of course you know sam and miguel both kissed each other at that party tori seen it honestly just tori could have called him out there you know instead of starting a fight she could have just called them out for what it is left miguel done be done but you're right she 
really initiated the fight by going to the school and, you know, calling Sam out over the intercom and leading to what happened. And you're right, you know, she really is a good actor. A lot of these cast members are some have some hella acting skills for real. They they portray the emotions in the, in the show so brilliantly, brilliantly. It's I don't know. They they did a, they do a great job and the writers that create this show Shout out to them, man, because they, they have done a great, great job. But, you know, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I want to say thanks to Bonsai Kai Dojo. Thank you to all of my subscribers, everyone that's not subscribed to me but still watch my video. A special thanks to all the moderators and people that, you know, participate in the videos, communicate with me, hang out in the chat, in the premiere, comment on the videos, leave questions, theories, ideas, responses, whatever be the case. I really appreciate it. I hope y'all understand. I, I really do appreciate it. And I also want to say thank you very much for everything that you all do. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. And as I always say, stay badass, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.